I look at life and you can be rich and be soulless or you can do something that's valuable that impacts humanity and changes the world. I know that I've touched hundreds of lives. In the past three or four years, there's been an explosion of research worldwide that support the use of cannabis as a medicine and uh, provides efficacy with certain medical conditions. I came across uh, Professor Raphael Meshulam at the Hebrew School of Medicine in Jerusalem, and he had dozens and dozens of research studies they had performed on cannabis. I was made aware of a particular compound in the plant called cannabidiol, known as CBD. So I immediately started going around Northern California searching for a high CBD strain. I tested probably 100 strains and didn't find one. So I decided to come to Colorado. I went around the state in 2009 and collected about 100 more plants. This biochemist identified one of my strains as a one-to-one -one CBD to THC strain. And it was the highest that they had seen in the world anywhere else. So I immediately started extracting that plant. A lot of people are using ethanol and butane and all types of solvents to extract. Uh, I designed my products for pediatric use, so what we did was designed an extractor that runs off of organic vegetable oils like safflower oil, canola, hemp oil, coconut oil. Nothing other than organic products ever touched this medicine. After a five-year process, I created a strain that the, the whole world knows as Haley's Hope. Four-year-old Haley Cox has uncontrolled epilepsy and was taking multiple medications to help control the convulsions. Those medications came with severe side effects. Haley's parents decided medical marijuana was the treatment that could save their daughter. But the family lived in Georgia, where medical marijuana is not legal. So Haley's mom, Jenea, packed up. The pair moved to Colorado, where it is legal. Dad stayed behind. And since their move a few short weeks ago, Haley has made remarkable progress. Jason Cranford is a botanist that now manufactures and distributes CBD oil in Colorado for medical marijuana patients like five-year-old Haley Cox from Georgia. Haley was in ICU when I met her, and uh, she was basically on her deathbed, and they had only given her a few months to live. That's why Cranford named the CBD oil strain after Haley. To hear your child say mama for the first time when you were told she was never gonna talk, uh, was, it was absolutely amazing. It still brings tears to my eyes to hear it. In Colorado, I've had a decrease of seizures, and in Texas, I had them about every day. Uh, Alexis, hurry now. They are the reason the Bortels left Texas in February. You ever think you'll return to Texas? We pray for it every night. But they won't return without this. Seizures have gone from once a day in Texas to once a month in Colorado. Lily suffers from Gervais syndrome, a catastrophic form of epilepsy. 30 to 50, that's how many seizures she would have a day. Doctors prescribed Lily every medication possible to control the seizures, but nothing worked. That feeling of helplessness brought them to Colorado. Six days after the first dose, the family began noticing the changes. Two weeks after putting her on Haley's Hope, we had 13 days of no seizures. She does things that she couldn't do before. Hopefully lawmakers' minds will change because Haley's proof that this medicine works. State Representative Alan Peak introduced House Bill 885, coined Haley's Hope Act in honor of a little girl in Forsyth. The bill aims to legalize an oil form of medical marijuana for people suffering from seizure disorders. The House passed the medical marijuana bill yesterday by a vote of 160 to 1. Georgia will be the 37th state to allow medical marijuana. Governor Nathan Deal signed Georgia's medical marijuana bill, also called Haley's Hope Act. Janaya Cox says she can breathe a sigh of relief. The treatment would be accessible in their home state. After many hurdles, her family is reuniting. Our operation alone has serviced over uh, 500 families, and there's a shortage of CBD lab-tested medicine in this state. So it's a huge demand to be able to come here and uh, pick up this medicine when they've expired all the pharmaceutical drugs. So it's really their last hope. It was hard to sit there and watch her while I'd cook by flashlight. Just seizing, constantly seizing. Mm -hmm. Knowing what it's done for Lily and how amazing and blessed we feel to have 
brought this plant into our lives and into our daughter's life. I wish every epileptic child and family that wants to choose to try it would have that option. You've been raised your whole life to think these were these bad plants, but I don't look at them like that. Those plants are saving my daughter's life. We're not seeing symptom reduction. We're seeing elimination. I never suspected in a million years that uh, something that I did would have an impact on so many lives. Being able to interact with the patients, that's what I do it for. When you start seeing those changes that you're making in people's lives, it's a huge impact.